We get about an hour for the next three minutes in television. It's Jerry Lawler being carried in a litter to the ring for a. Actually, I looked segment. it up. Yeah, it's a sedan. I think both are, are, are close, but uh, regardless, two of the guys carrying him were uh, Dwayne Gill and D'Lo Brown, and they're carrying him out there. And Savage, who have already established, does not want to be out here on commentary, is burying this whole thing. It's boring, he says. It's dead television time. Roddy Piper is way better than this. Like, Roddy Piper ain't been on this show in a long time, folks. So they go to drop him. And, uh, spoiler, they drop him. But the, the angle they showed live, you can't really see him. You see like while they're stumbling go down. When they showed a replay, because they got him all the way down to ringside, and they're all standing facing the ring, and all he has to do is get up and take two steps, and Dwayne Gill is in the front left part of the sedan slash litter. And he, like, he doesn't just, like, drop it. He's like a deep knee bend. He pulls Jerry Lawler very far, far down. And Lawler does a perfect rah, face plant into the apron. It's great fun. But they go to commercial, and they come back. How long was it Lawler in the ring saying, don't laugh at me? Had to have been 10 minutes. And not only that, he's telling us not to laugh at him. And Vince has to do the famous ha-ha-ha. He's laughing. And like every, I mean, he's just, you know, hey, fans, in case you're dumb, this is funny. <laughs> I'm going to laugh uproariously. And he laughed and fucking laughed. And the more he laughed, the less funny it was. And I was like, God, some things fucking never change. The same shit he had his other announcers do for fucking decades. Michael Cole have to be out there doing this fake fucking laugh for some dumb bullshit in the ring. God help me. Then Luger comes out and has to do laughing as well. Oh, oh, oh not God. only that, yeah, Luger also had to do stand up comedy. He's uh. doing all these comedy. Lex, uh, listen, everybody. Lex Luger is trying to do comedy at Jerry Lawler's expense. Right. Holy fuck. And Vince has to laugh at all these. These these were worse than the jokes on the granny segment. Actually, yes. <laughs> I mean, he's just fucking. They're all so dumb. And Vince is doing the the howling laughter. And I'm thinking, God, here's another guy who's going to end up going to world championship wrestling here next year. Yeah. I wonder fucking why. I believe Lex's line when he says to, to Lawler, Arsenio, Leno, and Letterman are shaking in their boots. And like it gets no reaction because it's not very funny. Mm-hmm. But Lawler's, I don't say it with the right word, but he growls, I know sarcasm when I hear it, Lex Luger. Mm. Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, goddamn! <laughs> if you had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask! My God, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me. What are you doing in my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah no, listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. <laughs> I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Shave that thing. My God. Wrestling Observer Live. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. And uh, they had, uh, I don't know, that. I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh-huh. So I got home, and I just... I start running the water through my hair, and, like, I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Till it fell out? Finally, I was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. <laughs> I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black and going in there looking like Vincent Price. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. I think Vince watches this show every week. He goes into the archives. He watches the Retro Raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show, and he saw old Burt Reynolds. Man, he saw Ron and Sheer marking out for this guy, and he was like, that's the secret, a mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. I don't know about that one. Oh. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.